Welcome to the new sound of online radio. Welcome to the sound of Universal Broadcasting Network. A mix of today's hits and hard to find favorites. Combined with the most entertaining and intriguing talk anywhere. This is your sound. This is the sound of Universal Broadcasting Network at UBNRadio.com. Everybody's staying cool out there, at least in the uh, Southern California area. And I think some parts of the country is also going through heat waves. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So I don't think, are we having there's a heat wave south. right now? It's well, kind of good today to me. We, well, it's feeling better, but <laughs> we're still... Not like uh, three digits like what it was like a week ago. But still like the 90s and 80s. It's still hot. That's so, true. And humid as well. That's but true. Awesome. But we're still we're in this nice air-conditioned studio. Yes. Yay. Feeling great. It yes. It's good to be back. It does. I love We're coming back getting here. getting back on our schedule. Mm-hmm. We took a little hiatus, and then we took a mini hiatus, I think. No, we just had a lot of different things yeah. going on. So yeah, we, we do. Not back as consistent. to a consistent yeah. schedule, mm-hmm. but it feels good to be <laughs> mm-hmm. back, back on, on a track. consistent schedule. Exactly. And, and we're, we're, we're getting in gear and, and realizing that, you know, when um, Jarvis isn't here, we probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> right, 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 right. So we, we try to try, we try to tend to his schedule a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely, <laughs> Jarvis is a the busy man. He's a wanted busy ever. man. Yes, he's the best. Uh-huh. He's the best. We're, we're trying to kiss up to you seriously because you know yeah. you had some plan today and you came I in know. for us. So we we, we totally you. just thank you appreciate so much, it. Jarvis. Yeah. And we mm-hmm. appreciate you so much. You just yes, don't know. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Nice. And I'm not lying. Okay. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of lies, though. Okay. Yes. Right. I just, I just really wanted to talk about this real quick, not to spend a lot of time, but, mm-hmm. you know, whoever is following the political scene right now, there's yeah. a lot of lies going <laughs> on. There's a lot of lies being told in our government. Right. And, and, they've, and they've been, not to, you know, I mean, they've been going new. on, but now that we're... As a mass, it's as a whole, new. Yes. we're all able to see it. <laughs> Just to witness it witness, play yes. out. Mm-hmm. And you know in your gut. Mm-hmm. Like me, I know in my gut when somebody's lying to yes, me. You know? Right, and right. you just to see it play out mm-hmm. with people who are our leaders. Yeah, it's, it's so sad. disheartening. And it's disheartening because, number one, of course, it's not the truth. Right. And, and you're, for whatever reason, trying to gain something by mm-hmm. lying. Right. Number two... There are children watching. Mm-hmm. There are impressionable people right. watching, Examples. and your ta- and, and and your leader, right. and for you to lie, mm-hmm. and for you to sort of get away with the lie yeah. is sort of giving people permission to do it. And that's what, what baffles me is the fact that he's getting away with it, you know, and, and they're letting it ride, and and there's still an office, and there's there's just mm-hmm. no um, there's no consequences to it. There's mm-hmm. no you know repercussions from not it. Yet. There's not, you know, yes, not yet, but. At the same time, it's just they're letting it ride, just letting it go, mm-hmm. you know, and it's right. just a bad example to showing right. people like, OK, maybe this is how, you know, especially like you said, young children, adults, minds. right, yes. to seeing like, OK, maybe this is how I conduct. I can just lie my way through yeah, life. Yeah, through I'm school, good. through, you know, relationships uh, with, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, it's just opening that door mm-hmm. to saying, oh, well, if the president can do it, you know, I mean, you know, we had pres- President Barack Obama, which was about hope and inspiration yes. and showed us that we could accomplish any good thing we wanted to you right and then now we have the other side of you know the the side of dark side <laughs> i want to say <laughs> of like lies and and not being truthful and and the narcissistic um, attitudes yes. and, and personalities and it's all about me type yeah. of thing when well, before it was all about we <laughs> so, very, very true but yeah. I, like i said i don't want to spend a lot of time on it but i just wanted to say yeah it's still it's still not good to lie. No. It's still not cool to lie. Right. 
There is nothing hidden that is not revealed. That's Your lies right. will come up to haunt you. Mm -hmm. it, it may not look like it now. We may mm -hmm. not even see it on a physical level, but believe <clears> me, <throat> spiritually, no. Mm -mm. Right, because whatever. You're not going to get away mm -hmm. with anything. That's the thing yeah. that people don't realize. You cannot get away with anything. Right. What's and done in the dark is will come to the light. It's going to come to the light. Always. So oh. all mm -hmm. you little kitties out there, right. all you little people who are like, yeah, you know yeah. what? He did it. I'm going to do it, too. Don't don't go there. No. And don't not to mention route. for your own, actually, you know, just like anything that you do, you're actually affected by it personally. Your own life, your own energy, your own vibration, right. karmic. So what they it say, karma, yeah, karma comes back around. Like a so, boomerang. You know, so that is definitely something to uh, think about you know in terms of how you Absolutely. conduct it's about integrity Absolutely. it's about you want to be honest you want to be you know you want to be a person of your word and yeah. things like that i love what jarvis just posted he, i saw that god oh like yes god yeah. sees, everything. sees you just, everything you just don't get away with it right. so you know what right. in, in spite of what we see that's going on in the media social media and our leaders it's like mm -hmm. still you know keep that righteous righteous feeling in your heart and mm -hmm. know that you know what you're not going to get away with it so let's right. just keep right. on that good path exactly you know what I'm and saying? all of us together as a collective if we can continue to be good law-abiding citizens you know, helping each other and still um, showing each other love and kindness, then it can override all of that. So, because you know, I think that's the the majority of the consensus. So, I yeah. think that's who I'm speaking to, mm -hmm. and that's not what we see a lot in the media. That's not the voice that we hear a lot of. You'll right. hear like, "Oh, it's the, it's the liberal," and like, like, like it's crazy to be right, to be good, to do to do the right things, to use your God power. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's I not. refuse to believe that. So, it's I a just bunch of lies. A bunch of lies. <laughs> lies, your mama told You're you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, enough of that bandwagon. <laughs> right, 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 right. So you got a trip coming up? I do. No, oh, oh, um, she made her sing. Ooh, that wasn't who's singing. making you sing, girl? That wasn't singing. That was just excitement. Oh, but, okay. Um, no, I do. I actually am so excited because I get to take a vacation this year. And, uh, you know, uh, I was just so... It, it, wonderful things about manifestation because I was just thinking... Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to New Orleans. No, 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 no. Let me tell that part of the story. This child has been <laughs> telling me for the last two months, I love Louisiana. Oh, my gosh. It, I when do. I was there, it was wonderful. It was this so beautiful. And I went to the countryside. She's just going on and on about it. She kept talking about how much she wanted to revisit and go back. And she just wanted to take a trip. She needed to get away. Mm -hmm. That's what I had to deal with. And then... And then I got a phone call and someone said, do you want to come to Louisiana for a vacation? Of all places. And I was like, yes. Of all places in the world, right? Oh, my gosh. And so, it was yeah. just like, just manifest. So I just said, oh, my God, universe, Father God, thank you. Because I just that. manifested. Yes, yes So I'm going to be going on vacation. So yes. I'm excited. So My vacation is coming up in August. Yes. You're, and okay. you're taking a really nice vacation. Yeah, going to the islands. Yes. Awesome, awesome. But, you know. It's coming. Yes. And we deserve it. We both them, both have been working so hard. And yeah. it was funny for me because I was looking, you know, on Facebook and everyone taking their trips and vacations. And, you know, I'm at yes. work and so, everything. So I wasn't really – I didn't really plan a vacation for mm -hmm. myself, you know, this year because I was just, just in the trenches. So – um, but I said, oh, I just kept thinking. I need some time off and all yeah. that story just told. And lo and behold – Deidre gets to take a vacation. <laughs> High glory. <laughs> <laughs> so That's I'm excited. Good. I'm happy yeah. for you. Thank you. It's going to be hot, though. I, it's going to be humid. You know what? It's okay. I love I, I love hum I love when it's humid and hot Not because mm -mm, girl, I don't no. It's weird. I don't sweat like when it's humid and hot. But if it's just, mm. if it's just, because you know why? Because the air is always hot. So it always keeps you, for me, it always keeps me dry for some reason really? when I'm out. And I, I've That's, been to New Orleans. This, this is going to be my third trip, I think, back to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And it didn't, I don't know, it's weird with me. It's like it's, I can deal with the humidity and the dry hot. heat anytime. So, yeah, dry heat. That's what it is. No, we have dry heat here. No, but when, but when the air is circulating, when it's moving, I don't, if I am sweating, I dry fast. I'm quick to dry. So I You're don't know. You're quick dry? Yeah, <laughs> quick. The, what's the athletic wear? The quick, quick dry fit. Oh, I was thinking of being our polish. <laughs> quick dry fit. Oh yeah, I polished my toes. The today. base coat. Quick <laughs> yeah, dry. Quick Need dry. that quick dry. But anyway, um, 
<laughs> but anyway, yeah. So whatever. But um, I'm on my way back to. Clearly, we did not plan anything. You guys, no. we really didn't plan no. a conversation for the beginning of this show, as this you can just, tell. This is just sister <laughs> talk. How we talk this, anyway. This is, this is sister but talk. But I do want to give a shout out to my son, who's playing a tennis match today oh, at bossy. six o'clock, and I'm having mommy guilt because I'm here. Oh. You think you are tripping, Jarvis? I'm having some mommy guilt mm. right now because his game starts at six, uh. and I told him, I said, baby, I can't make it today. Uh, but you've been at all his other games, and he's, uh, under, he's 15. He understands. He gets it, but... That, but still, I know. I, I, but being a mom, guilt. yeah. Man, it just, it just gets, gets you. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you just still picture them like, oh, my baby needs me. <laughs> and meanwhile, he's meanwhile, rolling his eyes at me right. half the time. Mm-hmm. And he's like, mom, whatever. <laughs> and I know this, but still, you yeah. know, it's in my I heart. Know. I'm there and, in and spirit. And it never ends. It never ends because yeah. my kids are young adults, and yeah. when they need yeah. me and if I can't be there, same thing, I go through it. Or they ask me for something or to do something. I certainly want to do it. I want yeah. to fulfill that promise. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I understand. I get it. <laughs> there he is. Hi, Bossy. Bossy Boss. Hey, there's Good my luck. baby. He's so much taller than me now. I know. He is so going to be so tall. But I think he's also playing tomorrow, so I'll be able to catch oh, okay. that. Okay. Well, there you yeah. go. You can make, make it up to him and give yes. him a bunch of kisses. So. Yes, we'll make it mm-hmm. up. So we have anyway. a wonderful show. We sure do. Ahead of us. We, have we have a long, like a social media, long distance friend. Oh, that's like a good he, way he's to put been, it. Yeah, I didn't know he's, how to put it. He's been our friend for a long time on social media yes. and he was on our show on a, on the other show we were on on a phone interview phone call interview right no 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 it was no. our show two years ago oh what's on it? the okay. phone oh yeah time. he's one of our first guests oh, time yeah we've so been fast. and we didn't even celebrate our anniversary like we've been doing this for two years you and i we've been doing this two years okay. june Woo! 11th was our anniversary okay, okay. We have to, we have to do some yes we do and he was one of our first guests i think we're second or third guest uh-huh. on the phone though because he was still living in new york right but okay Word on the street is that he lives in LA now. Yes, so nabbed him and his lovely wife. Yes, so we here. nabbed him to come inside personally and, and uh, give us this great interview that awesome. we're about to do. His name is Terrence L. Moore, mm-hmm. and he is the director, writer, creator, mm-hmm. producer of the hit award-winning Award web series yes. Q's One Night Stand. Please come back with us, and we're going to have a great conversation. I know it. Thank you, and stay tuned. Speak Your Week will guide you through the process of using the power of your thoughts and words to create more positivity and success in your life, day to day and week to week. Written by It's Time to Talk's own host, April Jordan. This dynamic book will remind you of the powerful person you really are and how to use that power to create the life that you want. Want better health, success, abundance, love, and more. Within the chapters, you will discover the kind of thoughts, emotions, and words you should be speaking about the things that matter to you most. Also, included in this book are affirmations to speak each day of the week. When spoken in daily succession, these affirmations gain momentum and can help you on your journey towards the life of your dreams. There is no other way around having the life that you want. It all starts with you. Get ready to speak your week. Available for download at Amazon.com.
Talk. We are coming to you live from Hollywood Sunset Gower Studios. Yep. And we finally have him in the studio. Right. Please welcome to our show, Terrence Moore. Well, thank you very much. Welcome, yeah. Terrence. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Please join the All right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Like you said, it's been years. Yes. And only through social media. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You gotta love. I, I I personally love social media. I know I a lot do. of people are like, she's always on her phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She da, 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 but really I'm do. working. Exactly. And that's how you create relationships and connections mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And it went from you all being a fan of my show and then following your show, and then you were like, yeah. come on the show. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm there. So, <laughs> yeah. and now that I live in LA, it's just, it's yeah. bizarre. It's, it's yeah, it's just we bizarre. We were talking about manifestation. Yeah. yeah. And all Absolutely. This, you know? Absolutely. So, what brought you? You were in New York. Yes. Right? Lived in New York. What brought you back to LA? We're talking about that real quick. Uh, you know, work, work. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of things have been taken off with not just cues, with some of my writing as well. And okay. so, and plus, you know, just kind of, I lived in New York actually more than any other place I'd lived in my entire life. Okay. okay. So it kind of wore me out. Yeah, oh, it kind of wore me oh. out. Like I grew up in the Midwest, so it was okay. kind of looking to get back. I, we lived in LA for about seven or eight years. So okay. it was like, as soon as my daughter finished her first year of college, we were like, oh, let's get out. Right. Yeah, let's get back to the, yeah, it's the warmth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what really did it. Yeah, okay. yeah. You know what? I'm, I was cold. I know. Exactly. <laughs> I can talk Bottom about line. work, but seriously. <laughs> and I understand. I lived out there for four years. Oh. So I, I understand. I'm like, I love it, though. I mm-hmm. love New York. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But I'll visit. Absolutely. You know, I don't want to live there. Yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. All my New Yorkers, you, hello. And, and, and so many people from California are like, oh, I love New York. I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. move there. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you, Try did it. Did you go in January? Try yeah, exactly. And that was right, because exactly. when I, I went to visit April, it was summer, and mm-hmm. I loved it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but when I, I went there, it was November. We had our first blizzard of the year. So it was like, welcome. And I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> I want to go home. Yeah. But. Yeah, it wears you out. So yeah, I know it you does. Out. Yeah, yes. so it's been good to be back. I mean, good. it's literally three weeks. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really oh, yeah. My stuff is still friend. in storage unit. It ain't even real yet. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then you're doing so much traveling. Yeah, right? we were. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny. We decided to take a little time off on the trip across country. So okay. we were like, you know, let's ship our stuff and then let's go to Mexico. Nice. Because nice. that sounds real bougie. <laughs> so, but, you know, you got like a month off from work. So it's like, let's yeah, go. And right. then while we were down there, mm-hmm. uh, literally days before I was supposed to fly back, I found out that I'd won a screenwriting contest for American Black Film Festival. Oh, congratulations. Oh, so, Goodness. you know, it was a high yes. class problem, but I had to stay in Mexico. <laughs> my wife had to come here and start looking for a place to stay. Oh, wow. And like I had nothing like shorts and flip flops. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't go to black events wearing flip flops. No, so no, no. I was like, okay. I can get my gear up. So right. yeah. So then we were in Miami for a week for the festival and everything. Mm-hmm. So it just has been, you know, back to back things. Like I said, it's a high class problem. Right. Wow. Yeah, it's a high class problem. It's so a good, good problem to have. That's yeah, exactly. Very good problem. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I understand that you know you kind of skipped over the award. Uh-huh. <laughs> you won a lot of awards. You know, let's, let we can yes. begin by uh, talking about say, Q's one night stand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's maybe talk about the history you know yeah. mm-hmm. of how now my question is did you want when you were little did you want to grow up to be a direct writer director did you just fall into it tell us about uh, growing Stark. up I, I you know I, yeah, I want to be a writer. Okay. I thought it would be the coolest thing in the world. But mm-hmm. I want to be like James Baldwin and Langston Hughes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, there was just that no one. Writing. Yeah, there was mm-hmm. no one who was like, I grew up in Evansville, Indiana. There is one famous person, Ron Glass, mm-hmm. um, rest in peace, who was on uh, Barney Miller back in the 70s. Oh, okay. But other than that, you know, where I was from, I didn't know of anyone who was a writer mm-hmm. or anyone who did stuff like mm-hmm. that. So I moved to New York. And I literally, I worked on Wall Street, and I literally knew I always wanted to be a writer, but it's not the kind of thing you tell people. Like, my best friends knew, yeah. but it's not the type okay. of thing you say. So, yeah, right. I was like, I was writing all the time. And even though I was in little publications and stuff, I knew I wanted to write films. So, mm-hmm. literally saw a kid on the street wearing a little headset on a movie set. I was just like, hey, man, uh, how'd you get this job? He was like, you know, go to the New York mayor's office and look up, and they'll tell you what all the films are there. Oh, and wow. I did that, uh-huh. and... I, that's what I've been doing since. So uh-huh. I just fell in. I knew that's what I wanted to do. I just mm-hmm. didn't have an ent- entrance, you know. Uh-huh, so because right. if you don't grow, you grow up in LA, you know about it. But here, yeah. I mean, in Indiana, like mm-hmm. I know basketball, right? right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and I can barbecue. Right. <laughs> oh, that wow. sounds good. Yeah. yeah, but that's interesting. Where do you start? Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that in years, but yeah, that's mm-hmm. where. It, but I always that's wanted good. to do that. Yeah, okay. I always wanted to write. And that's that's poignant because um, the part where you said you saw a kid with the headset mm-hmm. on, that's. Anybody that wants to do anything, you you 
that interest, go to that area. Go yeah. find, seek those people. You Absolutely. know, when you find mentors or you ask mm-hmm. questions, yeah. and that'll lead you. That'll get you on your path. Because so many people, that's the big question: Where do I start? Right. You know. Yeah. So go to just a little nugget there. To and no matter what people, it is, you know, you know yeah. there is, you know, because everyone people tend to think, especially in entertainment, that it's always this direct path. Right. But the truth of the matter is, you ask ten people, a hundred people, everyone's going to have a different story. Right. How they that's got so started. True. So right. you just so grab true. someone and ask, "What you? What did you do?" And you start saying. I just need to try some stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The action, yeah. action is so important. Now, fast mm-hmm. forward to what you were, so you were saying. Yeah, I want to talk about the web series, mm-hmm. the award-winning web yeah. series mm-hmm. "Q's One Night Stand," which uh, you guys out there just mm-hmm. check this web series out. It, <laughs> it's, it's adult oriented. Yes, okay, it's adult, adult content. content so yes. you know, don't don't have your little ones mm-hmm. watching with you. Perhaps right. you know. But it's so funny. It is funny. <laughs> it's so well written, so well I directed. Appreciate it. It's just the cast, the, the different, the multicultural cast mm-hmm. that yeah. comes in and out. It, it's just a great, great series. So, yeah. can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's about it's, <clears throat> it's Q's one night stands. Q is short for Quentin, and it's about a guy who's fed up with traditional dating, so he just decides to only have one night stands. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what you quickly learn is that at least in Q's world, you know, women have all the power, and right. these women, you know, every episode he meets a different woman, <laughs> and he come, and that's what the tagline is. You know, you never know what lurks behind a woman's a woman's door because mm-hmm. he's coming home with a stranger essentially, right. mm-hmm. and so. Every time he comes home, something nuts goes crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, nuts happen. So, um, so it's the type of thing where you know I just want to give people a, an opportunity to showcase, but also showcase the type of writing I do because mm-hmm. for the longest, you know, especially when you write comedy, it tends to be very repetitive, okay. and I want to write a story specifically mm-hmm. about a black male being vulnerable, mm-hmm. uh, not Q or the star Key Seymour. I love to death, but he knows I say this. That character is a corny dude. So, <laughs> and you yeah. just never get to see brothers like that. You know, right, you never get right, to see them be like, right, you right. know, be awkward and uncomfortable and not mm-hmm. quite know how to react to things. Mm-hmm. So I just mm-hmm. want to write a story like that. Wow. Yeah. So we've it, we've been served well. I got an amazing cast and producers and stuff. So we've done well. I think you know? it's so interesting how many people i mean i know it's fiction mm-hmm. but you know i mean it's just so many people are willing to have one night stand yeah mm-hmm. oh, like, oh absolutely i mean no problem finding somebody to have a one night stand it's, it's new york you go a rock <laughs> wow <laughs> that's true <laughs> this and, you know that's the thing like there's little, little things that i tried to do what mm-hmm. i did i did that I, I you know i thought was so reflective of new york because that's where the story is based yeah. um you know part of the reason that can happen is because there is eight million people and there is anonymity and you're mm. walking around so you don't oh, really yeah. meet his friends you don't really hear right. names you know right. it's literally he's just met someone while he was out and you know like i said i'm a happily married man i assume that still goes on but yeah it's just it's new <laughs> you york heard. You yeah, heard. Exactly. I know, right? I heard. yeah we've been in the bar looking at people like mm, yeah. Yeah. they just met tonight they wow <laughs> They're hooking up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, one of my favorite favorite mm-hmm. episodes mm-hmm. is called The Mind Reader. Oh, okay. I absolutely <laughs> love that episode because it's uh, it's him and a female in a mm-hmm. bar. And although their mouths are saying one thing, there's this caption at the bottom mm-hmm. that says what they really mean. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I think we have a clip of that. Oh, great, Jarvis, great. can you play that? <clears throat> Celebrating a birthday? No, we just work together. It must be so boring for you to make the walk all the way over here to order. I wanted to stretch my legs. Good night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You ordered here, that means you have to drink it here. That's like bar rule number 10. I need to get back to my friends. Look, worst case scenario, you get back to them and tell them about the asshole, they wouldn't leave you alone. Have the what caption. do you really mean? Right. What is really on your yeah, mind? A tra- translator. Dating not translator. In a bar, though. That's well, not necessarily in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that would. It, you know, that was the whole idea of it. Like, uh-huh. there is... 
like you mentioned so many people doing this but yeah. you know that's what happens especially when you're younger I think your people are more willing to play that game mm-hmm. you know it's that you know that favorite that famous line which originally was in this but I took it out where you know a guy and a woman come home and go you know you want to come in for a cup of coffee you know what they ask for exactly you know what I mean? right. like, yes. it was so on the nose I, went to, I took it out of there I was like you uh-huh. know what there's a way they can have this conversation mm-hmm. and I just want to highlight what they're doing at the bottom what right. they're really thinking what you really know thinking. yeah so well it was brilliant yeah, because when you. she when he uh she came around him and when he said yes you know mm-hmm. to sit for the drink it's like you saw it right there like he like i got it, I got it. Exactly. <laughs> now like this is this is going exactly. down <laughs> exactly. that's what i mean about this character like he is he is a bit of a square you mm-hmm. know what i mean it's funny when we were auditioning we had so many actors who came in and they did that billy d thing like they wanted to be real cool and oh. we were sitting there like no no and then key came in and just played him as this square guy who just who would cheer when a girl walks by like yeah that's the dude like, that's who we want so he's right. been perfect he's no, been perfect yeah, yeah he plays his role really well oh, okay is yeah. that something that you it wasn't what you asked for Oh, did that little the, moment. The character? No, I'm sorry. When you when you were casting for it, did you not ask for that type of guy, or and did he just oh, no, made that himself? Oh no, no. Yeah, think? yeah. We described him a little bit, but I think um, I think people tend to lean on what is most familiar. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so they couldn't picture. It's what I was saying. Like they really can't picture, like just a regular guy going out trying to meet women. It's you know I hate you know Key and I have done things where we've talked about it. You know, on interviews and things like. The thing is, we didn't see guys like us mm. who dress mm. like us, who talk mm-hmm. like us, who mm-hmm. act like us. Mm-hmm. You know, they tend to fall into, <clears throat> especially at that time, you know, a number of very basic camps. And, you know, with men, it was black males especially, they were mm-hmm. so often like these sexy leading men. Like, okay. like you know, I've, I've been, I can try to be sexy, but I'm just going <laughs> to embarrass myself. I'm more like a trip and fall trying to say hello, right. but <laughs> you're going to stick to it, you'll keep working. So yeah. you, we just want to, we started forming that character out over the period, uh, over the time period we were shooting, and he just became more and more specific. So we like to do season two. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's written. He's in Los Angeles now. Oh, fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, how can very convenient. <laughs> and also how very different because, you know, yes. it's such a different scene out oh, here. Oh, yeah. my gosh. You know, so oh, he's having a whole different experience. Okay. So, yeah, our season two is written. Fingers mm. crossed we're, gonna be, we're getting our money together to shoot it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah, it's going to be great. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah. So, so, are you doing any yeah. kind of funding, like crowdfunding or anything yeah. like that? Or? Well, not as of yet. We, okay. we did that last time and it was successful. Okay. Uh, but for this, we would like to try. We've been meeting with different companies because mm-hmm. people have been excited about it. Oh, you yeah. know, and so it has. It got into. We were in 17 festivals. We won a Ooh. bunch of awards. Yeah, you won so yeah. many. Yeah. I don't know. Awesome. It just yeah. seemed like every time you know, every time I was looking at your uh, Instagram feed, you were just like winner of this. Winner I know. Of that, winner. You feel and bad like, too. Like, oh, what? damn. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What did it mean? You said this last time. Let me correct. <laughs> Look in my eyes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So it's humble. Stuff. We get it. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. <laughs> but you're also talented. Yeah, I appreciate you know, it. Accept I appreciate those accolades because yeah. this is fantastic. Yeah, it and was. a lot of yeah. people love it. Yeah. So it's it's fan- so every time that you posted it, mm-hmm. I love yeah, it. And I, I love seeing that your that. success. Yeah. And it encourages people like me yes. mm-hmm. who are you know, I'm trying to do something, I'm trying mm-hmm. to grow, I'm trying to be creative. And I'm right. like, you know what? Look at look at yeah. him. Yeah. So it's great. It is validation. It is validation, you know, and each step was whether it was writing it, you know, my wife was the one who encouraged me to write these crazy stories, <laughs> uh, believe it or not. Awesome. And then uh, write the stories, raise the money, yes. and then the awards, even getting them shot. Like, there's something about it where each one is a step, you know, and so okay. you just try yes. to celebrate each thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Um, my I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, Jarvis is playing the trailer. So, <laughs> I love The Negotiator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that really? one was a good one. Well, the part when, um, I don't want to. People want people to watch it, but Give it away, um, yeah. that list that he had. Oh, the list. Yeah. I know. You know, the reason I say <laughs> really is so because funny. everyone has a different favorite episode. Yeah. You know, and I don't yes. mind switches. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, every I'm, so I always love to hear why someone liked it, uh-huh. what lines they like. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Well, I loved it because you said he was corny, and I saw mm-hmm. the corniness in him come out when um, they were on in the bedroom, and mm-hmm. um, she was trying to do something. He was concentrating on yeah, the she list. Was to be yeah, she trying to be sexy, yeah. and he was like, "Wait a minute, here! I'm trying to get, I'm trying to make sure I get it right, or whatever <laughs> yeah. the line was." But I, yeah. I love that. Yeah, I exactly. said, "Oh, I said he's taking it all serious. Exactly. You know, it's supposed to be spontaneous it, and sexy." But, but nah, he was like, he's "Wait a minute!" Nah, exactly. <laughs> that's, yeah. too, that's too good. Too good. So it's good to see. I mean, yeah. I hope you know. I hope that was been the response uh, mm-hmm. that people you know recognize Q but there's also been we have this huge female fan base oh, okay. you know and mm-hmm. it's been funny because you know we go to these meetings and or you know people ask about it they like to see it mm-hmm. and I, they go oh one night stands and they think especially in the current climate that we're in right. the truth of the matter is once they start watching it they go oh my god these women have Q upside down like they're the ones uh-huh. who are totally in charge these, str- right. these strong women yeah. who are also making a choice because it's not even 
about the sex. It's mm-hmm. about who you're coming home with. You're coming home right. with this stranger, and you right. never really know what situations you're right. getting yourself into. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love that because even it, it threw me for a loop even with the mind reader episode at the end I won't give it away mm. but at the end I was like really? <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah. Because you're entering <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you're entering someone's world. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, you know, and that's the whole power of you know you have to get to know somebody mm-hmm. because yes. you never know what you're walking into. 100% you know so. and it can flip things and turn mm-hmm. everything upside down so I think it's really clever you know how, you, how you've how done spent everything. Oh my gosh. Really so it, it should be really interesting uh, the yeah. people uh, the when you come out to LA, I can't wait to I see know, you. Yeah, and really all the fun. different dynamics. It's, it's so it's such a different thing, you know. It's so different. Like he and I sat down, like I did outline some episodes, and we mm-hmm. sat down and talked about it. And we were just, you know, we're both married men, but we're also just recognizing how different it would be to date. Mm-hmm. Here. It's like yeah. first of all, you have to have a car. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Maybe number New York, one, you don't, and no. it's also New York is also very spontaneous. Uh-huh. Absolutely. So it's more like, hey, you want to go grab a drink? You want to go do something? Whereas, you know, I have friends who have known I'm coming for months. Mm. Who are like, all right, when you get here, I'll be free next month. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. and, it, yeah, and I used to take different. it personal, and I realized uh-huh. it's just how LA so functions. Different. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, it's very different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's it's been, it was, it was fun putting him into that world where it's very different. And I also try to keep it away from Hollywood, too. Like, I really want to write a story nice. about. Los Angeles and the oh, people I've known okay. over the years, oh, you know, okay. just because New York, we felt like it was kind of a love, a love letter to New York. We want to do the same thing with Los Angeles. Like mm-hmm. there are people from LA get a gets a really bad rap. The mm-hmm. People from LA, born and raised here, are the nicest, uh, sweetest. Thank you for saying I knew, that. I knew the best why people. I like this man. <laughs> yes, I thank you for saying why that. We connected. Yeah, it's the best. We see it all the, all the time. Let you finish. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> I should have wrote it down. You know, let me tell you. No, but it's true like there's there's a genuineness about it mm-hmm. you know and that's the thing like you know my wife is just, when we were looking to move now you start picking things apart it's like breaking up you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? right, I like, right. when you move it's like you're falling out of love with the town like uh-huh. she's like everybody's already ready to pop off here and it's so true like whereas and, you know i came out for some meetings last year yeah. and you know I, the first night i talked to her i was like I forgot what it was like when people say, hello, how are you? Like at Starbucks. Wow. Like simple, like yes. New York is just be like, no, nah. yeah, is that it going to be it? You know, wow. so it's right, just, right, right. you know, it's one of those things like just being around that atmosphere mm-hmm. and that energy is just, I want to try to capture that. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So yeah, we didn't do much of anything that. in terms of mm-hmm. actors. Any, I mean, like celebrity or anything like that. We right. really want to keep it about what neighborhood they were in and, and the how that right. reflects the type of person that lives in that neighborhood. Oh, so, that's, I yeah. love that. That's, yeah. yeah. Well, like, I don't know. You got... I, oh, we don't we don't do Long Beach because I like I don't want to offend anybody. I don't, oh, <laughs> I don't, no! Like, hey, hold on, they Long Beach. You don't have to do Long Beach, Orange County, Compton. Do, you do what you <laughs> do, do. Exactly. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. you're yeah. just no, fine. Yeah. Yeah. You're just fine. On that note, we're gonna take a break mm-hmm. and uh, see why he's not doing Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. <laughs> we'll come right back with more Terrence Moore. Right. Stay tuned. Did you know that your skin is your body's largest organ, and you should be aware of what you're applying to it. The more natural products you use, the better. The best place to start is with Did It For Love handmade natural body products made with pure organic ingredients. Our Shea Body Butter Moisturizer is whipped to perfection and hydrates dry, cracked skin, and protects from UV rays. Did It For Love Shea Body Butter Moisturizer is infused with essential oils. You can choose from scents like lavender, vanilla and sandalwood, white rose, and many more. Our deodorant has a fresh scent that not only works against odor, but also reduces sweat. With this toxin-free deodorant, you can feel fresh and confident all day long. You can also keep your lips healthy and kissable with our handmade lip balms, in healing and fruity scents like tantalizing peppermint to sensational green apple. Our products promote healthy, youthful-looking skin and is safe for the whole family, vegan-friendly, cruelty-free, and gentle enough for cancer survivors and those going through treatment. Go to diditforlove.com today. Did It For Love, toxin-free for your whole family. Conversation. Yes. I can call him now our friend. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> our friend Terrence Moore talking about the uh, awesome web series Q One Night Stand, mm-hmm. which he's won several awards, several festival awards. And I believe that's why you are um, probably no need to uh, raise money. I would hope. Outside, like 
crowdfunding because mm-hmm. he's so popular now, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you're getting all these accolades, and I just think it's probably going to be an easier road for you. Oh, I appreciate it. I mean, I that's hope. what I see. Yeah, I would, I would hope so. You know, a lot of times it's just about, it really does come down to, like, views and things like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, part of, the, part of the reason I think we connected with people is because they didn't, especially in festivals, they hadn't seen anything like that before. Uh, you know, and yeah. so hopefully when we've been getting endorsed, people love it, you know, mm-hmm. and so we'll, we'll see where it goes. You know, right. the people, and, you know, what's going on online with the digital content right now, at least for a smaller format, people know they want to give money to things, but they don't mm-hmm. really know what to give, okay. you know, or where to put that Really? Money. Yeah, they don't know where. <laughs> they're, you know, they, they think they want this, they think yeah. they want that, when they don't really know what they're looking for yeah. so hopefully you know it's a matter of mm-hmm. maybe we'll be something they're looking for but you know yes. even if they're not we we've decided we'll just shoot some more that's We're right because we had a we have a blast uh, we got a great crew great i was group gonna say people. yeah the cast of people i yeah. mean the actors and everything yeah. everyone like right. they're having fun they're into the roles mm-hmm. and to me it seems easy because it's such a great um just living out the experience of you mm-hmm. know in those situations mm-hmm. and just out of the box you right. know so i think it's uh, wonderful and we and we try to have a good time like the name yeah. of my production company is daydreaming at judy's uh judy um. is a teacher that i had oh, uh nice. she's alive oh. i don't want to excel like she's, she just retired this oh, year okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hey, named judy. after judy forney handle <laughs> mm-hmm. and so that my high school teacher and so the tagline for our company is where the cool kids hang oh, you know because we just want people to come and hang out yeah. and have fun nice. we got a like no jerk rule you know mm-hmm. don't come in here acting like you big time oh, you know come wonderful. and hang out and right. just laugh and have see, a good time see, you know you are our people yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's what we you know when are we coming to the set <laughs> you know right that's what i want to yeah. know yeah y- mm-hmm. y- y- y'all need a guest star role yeah yes i'm ready <laughs> oh these manifestations are just do you like this angle do you like this angle right right like um she was like oh i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready we'll be back we'll be back right after you guys play i'm gonna go in a few exactly. weeks after shooting come back can you imagine no love it, yeah. love it. So that's oh, what yeah. you want you just want to yes. work with people yeah. that you yeah. enjoy yes. you know? yes. so yes. yeah it makes life yeah. so much easier oh, so much goodness. better yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely so let's talk about Uptown yes. you mm-hmm. want another award for that but that you just wrote the script so far yes what is that about uh Uptown is uh, a period uh, television show, so it's a pilot is what I won for. Oh. And so it's uh, about how an ex-showgirl becomes the most powerful crime figure in 1920s Harlem. Wow. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of deep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a whole different thing okay. from uh, the one night stand thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a period thing. It, uh, we want, we, I'm so used to being on a team. Oh. But yeah, I wrote it um, and then entered in the American Black Film Festival Turner mm-hmm. Television oh. Contest okay. and won for Best Drama. Oh, which that's was excellent. Shocking. Oh, yeah, my it was God. just, wow. yeah, that was cool. Yeah, how does that feel? I mean, were you sitting there and just, I mean, what what was going through? It's oh, just so humble. I, I was, love you know, it. I was, wow, I was totally awesome. in shock. I was literally, uh, um, yeah, I was literally screaming because I totally forgot. <laughs> like I, the night I the night I entered because I don't really enter writing contests and stuff, mm-hmm. okay. but I'd been in ABFF before with um, with Q's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was literally right before it was due. I entered it, forgot all about it. So that's why when we were in Mexico and I found out, I was just oh. in shock. Like my wife and I had just walked in. I was just like, whoa, yo, yo, oh. yo, yo <laughs> there you like, go, like, like, there you, you go. Yeah. So it was. <laughs> It was great, you know. It's one of those things. That's, there is that validation, mm-hmm. yes. you know, because especially as a writer, when you're when you're a writer, you spend so much time alone. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so you send out, you get no replies. You might mm-hmm. get someone to respond. Mm-hmm. So it was great whenever you get an email from Turner Television mm-hmm. saying congratulations. Yes, and you get on the phone and they're like, "We loved mm-hmm. your script," and mm-hmm. you know, and talked about your script and mm-hmm. stuff. So yeah, that was, um, and then it was just an amazing experience. It's in Miami. Have you all ever been to ABFF? No, no, I have not got. been to the ABFF no. yet. Yet, not you yet. I'm gonna to. manifest this. <laughs> you have to because it yes. is literally. I used to have been in a lot of festivals, mm-hmm. and it is one of the few that is actually made for uh, fans as well. Wow. Oh, really? So, yeah. Because okay. so, usually, if you don't have anything in it, you don't want to go there. Mm-hmm. But it is a uh, fan experience. Okay. So, you you know, even though I was in the, the festival, if I don't get there in time, mm-hmm. I might not get into the panels I want to get into. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because oh, right. they, they want it to be an experience, and they also want... You know, you have a lot of celebrities there, mm-hmm. but they also want to create a world where you actually can interact with them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great festival. So that experience itself, and then it's Miami. Uh, which, okay. Miami. Right. Yeah, yes. which is beautiful. Yeah, so it was great. Nice. Question, how, what do you think in terms of writing today from the past? Um, mm-hmm. Do you think it's evolved, gotten better, or kind of taken 
from what we learned in the past or what do you mean like, like in terms of like historical has, things yeah well that and as well as just um writing in today's time mm -hmm. just from from i guess from history from what you've learned right. growing up and in mm -hmm. the writing has it evolved to you like the shows that we see today and movies and content things like I, that i think it has okay. i think it has um only simply because you're getting so many more voices mm -hmm. you know when our first you know, I look at it something like Atlanta and, of course, Awkward, mm -hmm. I was going to say Awkward Black Girl, which was, you know, became Insecure. Yes. There were there was a time not too long ago where there was just no place for that. Okay. You know, part of what led to cues was that I was working on, had opportunities on different shows, and they, you know, you write a certain joke and it gets kind of whittled down to something that's more palatable mm -hmm. for a network, oh, which okay. I understand. Right. They yes. can sell soap. Right. But it became increasingly frustrating. So the great thing about cues was that I got to do my story mm -hmm. and I got to write it and I didn't have to get anyone's approval. Right. Okay. And so I think that's what's occurring now where more and more men and women and people of color are getting creative license. Excellent. So I don't, I'm not even sure if it's necessarily evolving or getting like, I, I, no one's writing better than James Ball when they're Langston Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> but that being said, more people are getting an opportunity to write mm -hmm. and, and share their voice. And I think that's what's so beautiful about writing. What's that's going on wonderful. right now? Very good. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can totally, mm -hmm. totally agree. Like, like mm -hmm. I said, I, I just feel like, like you hold your phone in the palm of your hand and you have access to the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whereas back in the day, you know, I used to work at Universal Studios mm -hmm. and work for executives and it used to be like, you have to know someone to know someone. To know someone. Right. I was the gatekeeper. Yeah. People would call me mm -hmm. and try to do favors for me, <laughs> you know, yeah. thinking I'm going to pass something to my boss. You're right. You know, yep. And it's no longer needed. Not, now you don't have to do it. No. Now you don't. I was doing a panel, um, I think it was in Seattle and someone had asked that. They had asked about how they, what they can do to get started. It was a young black woman and I just said, just shoot something. You got a phone. Yeah. I was like, when I started off, Start there. I'm about to sound really old. We were shot on film. You know what I mean? Which wasn't that long ago. Which wasn't that long ago, but you shot on film. But to go from that to yes. digital to literally you can shoot on your phone. Right. Now, yeah. you can, and you get to practice on your phone. So you can make all your mistakes. You can mm -hmm. shoot things. But then you mm -hmm. can begin to hone your skill in a way that, you know, for years I was trying to get like little shorts done and things like that. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't do it, you know, just because right. I, I didn't have the money to it. Okay. You know, even... I had a choice between moving to L.A. or New York, and I moved to New York for indie film because I thought, all right, I'm broke. That means indie, right? So mm -hmm. I can just do that. Right. The truth of the matter is it was just more rich kids making their money, <laughs> making their movies. Wow. Rather, the rest of the poor kids was humping on the side okay. or waiting for their turn. So, right. you know, but now you don't. You know, right. there's, it's been, you know, it's been the le playing field's been leveled out yes. quite a bit. So, you Anybody's know. Game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I absolutely. love that, too. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. Wow. I want to give a shout out real quick. You have Tracy Fellows who's watching. <laughs> Tracy Fellows, NBN. That's hey, my Tracy. yeah. We have known each other since we were we ran against each other in fifth grade. Oh, <laughs> and then we ended up at the same junior high. Oh, yeah, nice. that is like that is not like my brother. That is my brother. Oh, yeah, that's a day that's one for sure. Yeah, hundred oh, percent. Well, yeah. he's loving it, loving the show. That's oh, nice. Yeah. I thought he was in D.C. this weekend. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> take a moment to give me some love. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, that is so sweet. And yeah. then Brian Goble. Yes, my, my goodness. These are all Evansville folks. My family looking all out right. for me. Yeah, I used to be a neighbor. Awesome. But we, you know, just became family. You know, uh -huh. my family moved into like this uh, this east side, different neighborhood. When I say east side, you know, you've changed from the hood to otherwise. <laughs> and the goal was looked east out side. for me to, mm -hmm. you know, so we have, they have been adopted family and vice versa. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. That's oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. Just, and that's the thing. Like, it's, I think people would be surprised because I certainly was mm -hmm. uh, when it was time to do cues, how much support I got. You know, um, how many people come out of the woodwork? Because, you know, mm. I'm always fascinated. I mean, when you're on social media, everyone's talking about their haters. I know. Yeah. It's, right, it's right, exhausting. Uh -huh. Like, when you a really Paragraphs at, and paragraphs about like, haters. How you got so many haters? You work on a laundromat. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how does everyone have so many haters? But the mm -hmm. truth of the matter is, when you, when you put yourself forward and you make yourself vulnerable, mm -hmm. and I was stunned how many people came out. Mm -hmm. And some people gave a lot of money, and then I had people who were like, "Dude, all I got is ten dollars." Like, mm -hmm. man, are you kidding me? Ten dollars is ten dollars. Right. Like, yes. you, you, you're Just banking on me. Yes. You know what I mean? yes. So that's yeah, beautiful. that's so it's great to hear people mm -hmm. chiming in and listening and everything. Yeah, they so. doesn't like that support. It really, yeah, it really you helps. Need that. You know, you try yeah. to you go on social media and you just. Gosh, I mean, there's just so many things going on, and you mm -hmm. try not to take mm -hmm. it too personal, but right. then it, some of it affects you. But mm -hmm. then when you know that someone is genuinely supporting you and 100%. happy right. for you, absolutely. It, it matters. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I want to celebrate I, that. I, you know, you mentioned that earlier. I, when people don't like social media, mm -hmm. it's like saying, you know, I don't like television or something mm -hmm. like that. It's like such a 
broad, broad general thing. Like, mm-hmm. no, I don't sit around and watch. I'm not going to talk about other shows, but I'm not going to sit around and watch <laughs> bad shows. Right. But you find what you like. You do. You know exactly. what I mean? You, know, you make the exactly. most out of what it is. And That's so true. I slowly started drifting towards Instagram because I kind of liked that I didn't have to read people's politics. <laughs> but I still have, yeah. I still like being on Facebook so I can see someone's gr- grandkids and yes, stuff like that. Right. I mean, I've, yeah. I moved away when I was 17 years old. So okay. it's like a lot of those relationships and stuff mm-hmm. have been maintained through social media. Oh, wow. So yeah, yeah it's, it's a powerful, powerful tool. It ask, is. Ask our president. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not going to talk about his lies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about no, that. No, no, no. Talk about him at all. But I love your social media page. It's oh. all the beautiful, um, the vivid colors. and oh, just, I appreciate I said, it. I said, this, yes, this has this to be a director's director. right? yes, page because it's just <laughs> it's amazing. It's serious. Yeah, no, yeah. but it's beautiful. So yeah, I, I always it. enjoy looking at the different, and then when you travel and different mm-hmm. things, and you and your wife look like you have a lot of fun. Always. So. We have a blast. That's you know, great. we joke about it, too. We always go. People, we've had friends compliment like, man, you guys live a good life. We're uh-huh. like, man, we don't even put the good stuff on there. Oh, right? Because oh, wow. we're having a really good time. Like, mm-hmm. I don't have time Who to sit around. Who has time to I'm do that? Oh, stop you're laughing. You're stop laughing. Yeah. <laughs> 18? You're living the good life, right? No. <laughs> Recreate that. Do that again. Yeah. Go. <laughs> no. Exactly. Like you, yes. you forget about those moments, yeah. or especially right. when we're with our kids. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Matter of fact, my birthday was the other day. Oh, happy belated happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Uh, I guess it was Thursday. We went out. Me and, and my mm-hmm. stepson and my wife, we went out. Mm-hmm. We told, it wasn't until we were home that night. I was like, man, I forgot. We didn't even take any pictures. Oh. Like, yeah. It's oh. such a great time. It's it, not about, you exactly. know, yeah, hey, exactly. look what I'm doing. I don't need to do- Exactly. I don't right. need to document it like we remember. Right. We had a good time. Mm-hmm. So, exactly. yeah, we. I, I do probably take a little bit more time on my page than I should. But uh, we no, skip you should. Stuff. No, it's no, good. It's really yeah. good. Yeah, you know? try to try to frame it right. No, yeah, they're beautiful, beautiful photos <laughs> and stuff. So you capture it just right. Hey, so. yeah, you found it. us. We found each other I on know. social media. I so know. you know exactly. It's it's a beautiful thing. I just think it's great that you're here and oh, that you're yeah. back in L.A. And so mm-hmm. what other projects are you working on? Do you have anything else coming up? And are I you going to develop Uptown? Right now I'm working on the development of Uptown. Okay. And then I'm also writing a, another script for a studio that um, I can't let the cat out of the bag, but I really love it. Is <laughs> I, 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 the good thing about, you know, ironic about Cues is that, you know, it's led to or even Uptown. Like that is a show that's about a woman. And then the show that I'm writing is about a woman. Okay. Uh, you know, I can't think of anything other than I was raised by an amazing woman. Mm-hmm. I come from a long line of amazing women. That's oh, all I can say. Wonder. Rather yeah. married to one, mm-hmm. have one as a child. Just mm-hmm. and so it's you know, so I'm working on this story that's about a, about a young woman. And then I'm just gonna continue to you know develop uptown and I you know I write occasionally for like Ebony or OZ magazine oh, and do right. humor pieces and things mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, so just those are the only things I have right now going on. Do you yeah. are you thinking in terms of like big screen? Do you see like big screen for your uh, projects? I would if something comes to me in that way. You know, mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. film feels very stagnant. You mm-hmm. know, and so. If I have a story that comes to me in that way, I will. Mm-hmm. Or if you know, or a check comes in that way. You right. Know, you know, <laughs> Uptown exactly. is like this period piece, but believe right. me, if they're like, you know what, would you like to make the movie? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, you start ripping off pages. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, but yeah, I just you know, right now television has just been so much more interesting, but it's mm-hmm. also more accessible. Right. You know, mm-hmm. f- uh, film you still have a lot more steps to it, whereas. Um, with television, you still have a lot more venues. You, you, mm-hmm. I mean, you still have places that are growing in mm-hmm. leaps and bounds okay. in terms of platforms. So right. it's just it's more opportunity there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just more opportunity. And how do you cast nowadays? Because you know, normally, you, like the films, you have the mm-hmm. auditions and stuff. So with social media, mm-hmm. is it the same or how do you? It is. It is. You know. Um, it's one of those things like when we first did cues we didn't really take social media into account Mm -hmm. but social media casts a lot of stuff right now because Mm -hmm. if people have a lot of followers Mm -hmm. studios and things like that because that means they don't they believe oh that means there's less money we have to put towards marketing when the truth of the matter is if someone's got two million five million so many millions of followers they don't just give away that time Mm -hmm. you know so Mm -hmm. but as far as the uh yeah you know (laughs) like they earn those things so but as far as you know casting and stuff it stays the same. You know, I've had some people reach out to me through, a lot of people reach out to me through social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, I take everyone's headshots. I, I save them. I save them in files and stuff mm-hmm. because I've been there. I live there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where it's like yeah. I send out scripts to people who don't who don't know me, who I hit up on LinkedIn. Like, hey, mm-hmm. I'd like to get together for a cup of coffee and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So if someone who's trying to come up must, is interested in something I'm doing, I'm always available. Oh, you know, it's just, I love that. Yeah, it's wow, just, someone, not many people are helping, so I'm like, whatever I can do. That's very true. Yeah, that's yeah, very so. true. Wow. That is, yeah. And that, that you still, you know, you put that, you're putting it out there and you're putting mm-hmm. yourself out there like that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and it's funny too, because literally just on LinkedIn, I got a guy 
who hit me up uh, through direct message just last week. He was from like Columbus, Ohio or something. Mm -hmm. And he just said, hey, you know, can I jump on the phone with you sometime? I've always wanted to work in film. We went to the same school. I'd love to talk to you. Oh, wow. I was like, I'm not a big phone person, but mm -hmm. if you send me some email, you send me an email with some mm -hmm. questions, I, I can do that for you. Wow, and I was okay. like, I can't, I can't make any promises mm -hmm. of what it will be, but right. yeah, I'll answer, you know, because right. yeah. that's all you want is just someone to hear you. I think that's the, the purpose of Absolutely. like what a lot of us do. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, you just want someone to hear your voice. Right. You know, so, right. yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I watch my emails can be blasting tomorrow with a bunch of hits. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly, right? Put it out there. But that's all right, though. That's all right. So let me ask you, mm -hmm. uh, what, what type of writer are you? And let me kind of give you the picture. So, okay. So I love to write as well. Okay. And when I write, I like... I do my best writing. This is so funny. I wrote a whole book, and I wrote the book at my son plays tennis, mm. and I wrote it at his tennis practice. Okay. Like, he had it for two weeks straight, and I was just out there for three hours, and I was just sitting under this little umbrella. It was hotter than I don't know what, <laughs> but, and people were around me, and I just started flowing. Wow. I'm like, do I need to just go to a tennis match every time? Because <laughs> <laughs> <Right, laughs> right, right, I haven't quite trigger, right. gotten back right. there. <laughs> But I'm like, is this the environment that I need? <laughs> right. Like, what type of writer are you? Does, uh, does it matter where you write? It does. Write? I am definitely a creature of habit. Okay. I am, yeah, ask a family member. If you take the pen, I write, I write with certain pens. Okay, they come okay. up missing. Okay. I'm salty. <laughs> and I got no problem sending out emails like, who yes. took my pens? Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like. I actually, I like to write in chaos and then edit okay. in quiet. And so okay. I go to coffee shops most days. Okay. You know, yeah. and then when I need to be focused on on something specific or editing or things like that, mm -hmm. then I'm more likely to be doing that back at home. You know, mm -hmm. that yeah. way I'm not being distracted. Right. Yeah. But I think this that was one of the draws of New York is that I could, you know, oh, you're man. so inspired by the faces that are mm -hmm. around, you know, in L.A. too. I mean, I I'm, I don't go to the cool coffee shops. I go to where the weirdos hang out. Because oh. I just love seeing people. Oh, you know, yeah. I write about regular people, so mm -hmm. I want to see regular mm -hmm. people. You know, I don't want to see someone trying to be something they're not. Right. So, right. Um, but yeah, I like, I love writing in chaos. Yeah. yeah. You know, I have some friends. I had a, I co-wrote a script with a guy once who... He was a headphones on sit. He wants to sit right across from each other. And it was just like, <laughs> no, nah, man, I, oh, I can't no. do that. Well, yeah. you know, um, there's, a, there's a joke. I think this comic said, a, he was a writer. He said, you know, writers don't work and play well with other kids. Oh, and that captures it. So it's true. just like, that's that's it. however right. you write, you yeah. do your thing. And so mm -hmm. we ended up writing a really good script together. But it worked because, you know, I took my pages. He took his pages. Like, all right, I'll be at the coffee shop. You can, <laughs> you know, we're here in your head, man. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but I like writing in chaos. And do you also, like, get inspiration, like, from things that you hear, mm. conversations? And do you like write write some of those into your I stories? I do. You know, I I'm, I'm, the things I'm more likely to be spontaneous about are jokes. You know, like mm. when you're hanging out and mm -hmm. you say something. You know, a lot of times <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, but you don't know what you want to say until you say it, uh -huh. and then mm -hmm. it comes out in the wording of it's right. And so all of a sudden, I'm like writing it down. <laughs> um, but as far as inspiration. Uh, yeah, that can come from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, it mm -hmm. comes from anywhere. You know, um, I think I'm inspired more by people than I am by um, an incident. So mm -hmm. a story like Q's, I didn't set out to write a story about one night stands. Mm -hmm. I want to write a story about what it was like to be a young black male who's going out meeting people, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 what's, and what, it, what it was like in a social scene, mm -hmm. social setting. Because uh, like I said, I never saw something like that. You know, yeah. so that's kind of where it came from. That and, like I said, I'm, I was joking with my wife about some my wild days. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. That is wonderful. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Kim O'Neill Road. She's our family mm, member. Nice. Hey, girl. Hi, Kim. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope everyone's enjoying this wonderful show with Terrence Moore. <laughs> so many wonderful things to talk about. You got something to say, girl? Um. I'm just chiming in and see if there's any more. No, we're good. But um, <laughs> but no, Terrence, I just want to say that I'm so excited for you because I love how I love the side of what you were saying, the corny side of, of which <laughs> which is really it's not corny. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not. It's yeah. because black men are so um, this it, this the whole stigma of black men. There's you a know, facade. The facade, yeah. Yes. That they're mm -hmm. that they're thugs. They're hard. Yep. They're this and they're that. And when I watch Q, when I stand and I see Q and all that kind of stuff, and I said, I just love it because I'm like, that's to me, that's a real black man. Yeah. You know, because mm. black men, you know, are beautiful, wonderful men. They're yep. not. Nobody's walking around banging heads and yeah. and you know and dropping the hat. Right. You know, it's just a, so opposite. So opposite. Yeah. So there's a lot more from, diversity. Yeah. Amongst us. And, and, right. And that's, yes. and that's what's so been so important about some of the shows that are on that I mentioned and even some of the characters that are making it onto other shows like there's a diversity of us like yes. you know my you know I 
I'm write film and and work in film and television. Mm -hmm. And I was just talking about my best friend, one of my best friends, Tracy Fellows. Like Tracy, you know, he's worked at Toyota for 20 years. That's mm -hmm. what he was up, he was up there for. He's a factory guy. He was mm -hmm. a Marine. Mm -hmm. Like our lives are totally yes. different. Yeah. Yet our daughters are a couple weeks apart. Oh. And our you know, and this is someone that you. Mm -hmm. He's one of my closest friends, but we're totally separate, different mm -hmm. people from one another, you right, know. And, and right. so it's one of those things. It's like, why can't we get to see different types of? Right. Yes. And the only way we're going to see them is if we're the ones writing it. Yep. You know, we're the ones directing it. You know, mm -hmm. and on those rare occasions mm -hmm. where you meet black executives, we're the ones approving it. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. so yeah, this is mm -hmm. it's super important. Mm -hmm. It's super important for representation. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. And That's those what are the I ones that I, you know. And I say it. I think we say it on the show a lot. We mm -hmm. know so many wonderful, wonderful pe people. Mm -hmm. Period. Okay. Okay. Exactly. But black men, oh black God. men are amazing. Yeah. I don't know too many that turn up and go crazy and leave the right. family no, and do this and that. Right. I don't know. That, like, who are these people? Absolutely. There's not a lot of great single fathers. Oh I know gosh. men who are taking care of their kids mm -hmm. and, you know, don't yes. have a woman. And, and it's, 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 and it's the same thing with the black women. And just, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's constantly this thing where your group, you're represented, you're represented by people who mm -hmm. are being approved. Your representation is being approved by people who don't know you right and don't know don't your know. quote that's, unquote that's, group that's they don't right. realize how diverse it is right you know right <laughs> back when i really wanted to get myself in trouble right before i left la the last time i'd written this script mm -hmm. um that was really about snitching mm -hmm. <laughs> so you all know you're yeah. all black. Mm -hmm. you know right. snitching. Right. Well, get stitches. i was perfect exactly so i was real i was so annoyed uh about this this perception that was going on in new york that you don't yeah. snitch and when yeah. i was growing up if you're a square, you you can mm -hmm. talk to somebody. You know what I mean? Right. Like long mm -hmm. shit, but the moment you, if it's between drug dealers, whatever. So it's a specifically black urban story. Well, what began to happen is, mm -hmm. I purposely didn't put race in there mm -hmm. because I got tired of um, always saying black guy, black guy, mm -hmm. black guy, yeah. explaining. Whereas when I was reading scripts by white people, they never put white, they never put race unless it's a black person okay. or Asian or something like right. that. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull that little game. I'm right. Just gonna write mine. right. So it would get me meetings and such, but. It slowly became something else. Like mm -hmm. it slowly went from uh, development people wanting to do that. They love that story. I did have that shock look when I walked in because like, oh wow, black guy wrote it. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, right. and, then and then when I got in, and then it, those who were interested in it, they slowly began to whittle it down to it wasn't even a story about something that is such a specific black issue. Wow. Uh, yeah. And so it was just it was just really frustrating. And so that's what? the type of thing where you, yeah, that was that was literally one of the last projects I worked on before I went back to New York. I was mm -hmm. like, I, I'm losing my voice here. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I'm losing yeah. my voice, and right. so time for new energy mm -hmm. 100 percent, 100 percent, and you know just kind of readjust you know because you're especially if you're making art or whatever your hustle is mm -hmm. you're just trying to figure out you're going to have to compromise on who you are yeah so yeah. you know you just want to make sure you're not giving over two and three handfuls at exactly a time. something yeah. that you yeah. can live with yeah. you know yeah. Absolutely. And, and that's something that you know that's a hard pill to swallow mm -hmm. especially when you're a creative person mm -hmm. because Deidre and I back in the day used to sing mm -hmm. and our dad helped manage a lot of our our business mm -hmm. and we were always at the table and we were just cringing because the person on the other side wanted so much mm -hmm. so much of a percentage mm -hmm. and then we'd leave the room my dad said do you want 100% of nothing exactly. or 2% yeah. of something right. you know exactly. and we would be like <laughs> All right, you know, but exactly. we had to we had to make that choice. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's a real statement. Yeah. That's why it, it stood it's out thing. to me. It, it is as they say, it's show business, and you mm -hmm. you have to recognize that people are bringing value to you as well. Like, as it, well. like while you are the talent, they have mm -hmm. the platform to showcase your talent. So you just kind of right. have to, yeah. you know, you can be the coolest rapper, writer, whatever, you know, living on your mom's couch and <laughs> make some compromises. Exactly. You know, so, yeah. 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 You need each other. That's what yeah. said, oh, yeah, I'll write a movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. You yeah, exactly. Like, like, it could be a movie yeah. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> two, like, uh, two season two might be a whole white right. cast. Right. Be like, hey, I'll be like, wait, is this the right, right? Meanwhile, I'm sitting on a stack of cash. Right. right. I, had, I got kids, y'all. I got kids. But the beauty of that, your cash, you could you could go back and do it, another one, and it could be all right. Yeah. You know, I you, start you, over. Yeah, you start over. So that's the beauty of that. Like, you know? Terrence is like taking our call. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I love that's it. Great. Love it. Yeah. I love it. I'm just so glad that we're having this conversation because it's so important mm -hmm. that we, as just 
just uh, three or four, if, if Jarvis, you know, I know he's I listening, know. chiming in, and we can talk about how we can create something on your own. Right. Like, you know what 100%. I mean? Like, you don't have to go time. and say, mm-hmm. Mr. Boss Man, Mr. Boss Lady, can yeah. I, can I, can I? No, mm-hmm. you have this power. 100%. You have the control over your own life to create what you want and mm-hmm. what you make out of it. It's yeah. up to you. Right. It yeah. sure is. You know, mm-hmm. and it's, it's so powerful, mm-hmm. and it's just something that we love to talk about. You know, you're using your power. You're God-given power. You're mm-hmm. a writer. Mm-hmm. You're right. a creator. Right. And your yeah. creator gave you this right. talent. Absolutely. And you're using it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're just bringing joy to so many people. I uh, appreciate or it. Or emotions yeah. or just, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good when you touch people. And that's the thing, like, yeah. you know, there. that's what happened in this digital revolution. Like, mm-hmm. you, you you mentioned a book. Like, if you're gonna, you you want to write a book, write your book. Yes. Publish it. Right. You know, there there's no longer the gatekeeper in the traditional way. They mm-hmm. they still do exist. Yeah. But you can start building your following. Right. Yes. Or connecting with people. And I know it may not be the platform that you would necessarily want, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. take it from someone who knows. Like I yeah. never forget the first comment I got on a YouTube video on my cues mm-hmm. YouTube video, and someone was like, ah, I love it. <laughs> I was just like, oh, <laughs> you're like, oh, you're like all right. Because yeah. yeah. you just want to you yes. want someone to be you want to be right. heard. Mm-hmm. You know, and you, you want to know that you're you want the validation that you know you're on the right path 100%. of what you're supposed yes. to be doing because yeah. that's how you really know and gauge on what you're doing it's like you the response you mm-hmm. know is okay god first you're like you connect to your source this this is what i'm feeling this mm-hmm. is what i want to do mm-hmm. let me go ahead and do it and then you start receiving you know yeah. or you let people let you know hey you know maybe tweak it do this or that or i love it this yep. is this is or even when they hate you know? it i i definitely had some, i had yeah. a lady who told me once that uh, we were going to hell and <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> I was like, and I was like, thanks. I said, you sound like my family. You know what I, mean? like, right. I was like, but thanks for watching. Right, right, right. I mean? right. Because you know, whenever you're getting encouragement or you really start believing in yourself, mm-hmm. like, you know, that's your opinion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because right. not yeah. everything's made for you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And, and good thing you don't get to choose if I go. No, ahead. absolutely. So exactly, <laughs> exactly. So you, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You can start right where you are. I want to give a shout out to Hey Lance, Lance Reed. Hey, he mm. says, Hey April. He said, That's how we are working at the beach. He has this uh, mm. work your passion. Type oh, of thing. nice. They go out to Darkwater Beach and he has kids and he's oh, nice. t- t- teaching him how to do it. Mm-hmm. I think you just start where you are and I think that just you open up your mm-hmm. heart and then it just a, a sort of synchronicity starts to happen. You 100%. Know? One thing yeah. after another. And that's how you connect another, with it's people. Great. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, like it's years now yeah right. yeah and you yes. all expressed interest in my series yeah. and all of a sudden yeah. i'm sitting here and exactly it feels like it was just yesterday yep. but it, right. that's the thing like you when you extend yourself you don't worry about the haters you're more likely to get people reaching out towards you mm-hmm. than going man cheering you Amen. on and like Absolutely. good luck Absolutely. you know good luck you know so i love it well we're yeah. we're out of time actually yes. okay. Wait, thank you so much thank Terrence, you. for oh, coming on our show pleasure. you want to give your social media out real quick candy jarvis I got time? Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm on Instagram and Twitter at T Moore. That's T M O O R E D A J. All right. We well, thank, thank you so much, so much for being here. Thank thank you. Had a wonderful time. Yes. And look right. for me and Deidre on uh, one of his episodes. Uh, That's right. Episodes, perhaps. <laughs> one of his perhaps. episodes. <laughs> exactly. But thank you for tuning in to It's Time to Talk. Hi, Annabelle. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for watching. We want to wish you all a great week. And remember, your conversation is your affirmation. God bless. God bless. See you next time. Thank you. <laughs>